Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the Vertex Displacement app. I'd just like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Great, let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add the Vertex Displacement app. What this is gonna do, it's gonna displace the vertices of a mesh depending on the brightness of a pixel from a texture, which is gonna come in here. So let's click this image compose and we can see we've got this texture right there. And let's plug that into the vertex displacement map up. Now we don't see a lot going on because we've only got two triangles. So let's increase the amount of subdivisions. Let's put this on 10 by 10. Now this is starting to look more like what we've got here. Let's increase the width and the height. Great. So as we can see, there's kind of some displacement happening based upon what's going on now. So if we increase the amount of vertices, it starts becoming smoother. So I'm just going to put it on 30. The more uh, vertices you use, the more expensive it becomes. And let's go over here now and make a time or two. And let's just animate this so we can just see what's happening. So I'm going to plug this into the offset parameter. Let's just slow this down. And as you can see, what's happening here now is the pixel brightness is displacing the vertices there, right? So we could go really crazy with this. We could add another waveform gradient. We could grab it. We can put it on multiply. And as you can see, we now get the effect from here is displacing the things there. If I just rotate this a touch, we already start ending up with some really interesting patterns. So I'm going to go over here and you can go wild with this. I can use a blur so it kind of becomes smoother. I could just also add a brightness contrast op. And with this now, I can get very different behaviors and results out of this kind of chain of effects that we're stacking together. So let me just like delete this for now. So you could also just go here and add the FPM noise op. And as you can see, we now get this. And if I go over to the rectangle and I put it on a really high amount, like 60 by 60, as you can see, we're now kind of getting this like terrain like effect. I can now just scroll through it. We can also add a blur to make it a little bit smoother. And you have to experiment with this and with different materials because right now we're not touching a lot of subjects like normals and things like that. But this was an introduction to the Vertex Displacement app. I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.